Welcome to Raised Bed Vegetable Gardening. My name is Jean Grunert and I will be your host for this presentation. I'm the author of the book Plan and Build a Raised Bed Vegetable Garden as well as a book called Get Your Hands Dirty A Beginner's Guide to Gardening. Both of those books are available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Smashword, and wherever books are sold. Today you're going to learn how to plan and build a raised bed vegetable garden and we'll be talking a little bit about what you need to grow great vegetables. So if you're ready have a pen and paper handy and let's get started. There's really nothing like the taste of fresh vegetables grown in your yard and it all starts with planning. A raised bed vegetable garden needs full sun so map out your area carefully. This is my garden under construction. Once you've decided where to locate your garden, the beds are planned out and built with approximately a three to four foot pathway between them. This one is fenced. These are the raised beds that we have in our yard all set and ready to go. And we bought in soil and compost, which is here. We bought it in bulk so that we could fill up the beds. Raised beds have great soil because you add it and mix it yourself. And here's our bed waiting for its raised bed uh, soil to go into it. Now we put landscape fabric on the bottom of each bed and you can see it here. That suppresses weeds and grass. When each of the beds are built, you can then fill them. Now some people like to use treated lumber, some people use untreated. When I'm growing root vegetables like these onions, I prefer untreated lumber. Um, you can look in my book or on my blog, homegardenjoy.com, for more information about that. Once your beds are available and ready to go, you'll need to plant them with vegetables. You can plant almost anything in a raised bed vegetable garden. Here we have tomatoes. Now you can tell the irrigation that I've set up here is called a soaker hose and that brings water directly to the roots of the plants and there's a close-up of it right there. You can also use sprinklers and general hose, anything to bring water into your vegetable garden. Vegetables need about one inch of water per week. Now once your vegetable garden is planted, here's an example of a mixed bed. I've got some cauliflower, it looks like, and some cabbage in the front as well as some greens. And that tripod thing in the background is actually an irrigation system that I used for a while before I put in the circa hoses. You can grow almost anything in your raised bed vegetable garden. My own garden is fenced in, as you can see here, to keep out deer, which are a problem here in Virginia. You don't necessarily need to fence it, but if deer and wildlife are a problem, fences are a great idea. Now, I prefer grassy pathways, as you can see here. Some people like to use mulch and some people like to use pebbles. Grass, I think, uh, is a lot easier to manage, and I think it keeps the area cooler, which is much needed here in Virginia. I also have a garden shed in the back which holds my lawn mower. I use a push mower for extra exercise as well as my garden tools. Once your garden is built, feel free to plant whatever you need to plant. You can grow peppers, tomatoes, herbs, fruit, anything. I hope that you've enjoyed this brief presentation and introduction to my book, There I Am, Weaving to You from My Garden. Plan and Build Your Raised veg Vegetable Garden is available as a paperback and an ebook on Amazon, Smashwords, and Barnes and & Noble. And my other book, Get Your Hands Dirty, A Beginner's Guide to Gardening, is also available where fine books are sold. Visit my website, homegardenjoy.com, for more great free gardening information. Thanks, and make it a beautiful day.